Hey guys, this is Brian Drury of Overcoming Graduation coming to you today to talk about the concept of getting started. If you're struggling to get started, here's one of the things that gets people hung up the most before they start the business, write the book, start the workout, start the new diet, do any of these things that we really want to do. It's a new hobby, it's a new business, it's a new career. One of the main things holding us back is trying to be perfect. We put it in our heads that once we learn all the new things, then we can get started. That once we've read all the books and gone to all the seminars, then we'll start the new business. Once we've read every book in existence, then we can start writing our own book. Once I've watched every workout video and researched all these different plans, then I can start the workout. Once I understand dietary science and nutrition completely, then I'll start eating healthier. Now, actually what this is, is something that I like to call creative procrastination. This is really our mind's way of saying, I know that change is gonna involve some adversity. It's gonna involve some learning and some discomfort. And if I go to the new salsa class, cause I wanna learn to dance, I'm not gonna be great right off the bat. If I start in the diet, I may not get the results. So why should I even try it? Our mind tries to protect us. It thinks it's doing us a favor by keeping us from the danger or the adversity. When in reality, the only way that we're gonna grow and develop is by facing and overcoming the adversity. And one of the best ways to do that is chunk things down. It's not about setting a workout plan that you're going to do for six years. Set the workout plan you're going to do for the next week. If you've been struggling to get started, just focus on that next week and really take it day by day. Then after the week's over, reevaluate, recalibrate, and then set something new. So if you're struggling getting started, chunk things down. If you say, I want to write a book, that seems big and overwhelming. But instead, if you say, I want to write the first sentence of my book, which is actually how I wrote my book, I said, I'm going to write one sentence today. That's how you can get started because your brain goes, oh, that's really not that hard. It's just one sentence. But one sentence turns into a paragraph. That paragraph turns into a page. And then later you have a full length novel that's over. I'm blanking on the number of pages in my book, but let's say it's, I think, 296, 196. I'm blanking But guys, <laughs> this is the reality. This is the truth of things. I blank sometimes. So, but thinking about this, the, the real core concept we're talking about here is actually getting started and actually getting moving, doing the things you want to do. So if you're struggling with perfectionism, which we all do, and this is as much a reminder for me as it is for you guys, because so often I want to do the next thing. I want to try the new product in my business or launch the new program, but I worry in my head about all these different things. I worry about the judgment. I worry about people criticizing. I worry about no one giving a shit and it not hitting with anyone. And I go, you know what? Maybe it's better not even to try. So part of this is doing things to put yourself in an optimal state. That's eating right. That's working out. That's doing things to maintain your mental state but then also chunking things down so you can take the action and build that over time. What has created lasting change for me is not these Herculean efforts once a week or once a month. It's consistent effort over time and building this into the part of my routine and who I am as a person. So to really build consistent lasting change, we need to let go of the idea of perfectionism and really dive in and commit to the idea of small incremental success over time. We wanna build on that success, we wanna maintain over time, and we wanna focus on momentum. We wanna focus on daily commitment and daily action that builds to a greater goal. So if you're worried about it being perfect or worried about being perfect before you get started, just know it never will be. That's a thing that doesn't exist. Perfection is a pipe dream. If I had let my own desire to be perfect stop me, I never would have started dancing and learned how to dance salsa and bachata. I never would have written a book. I never would have taught myself Portuguese. I never would have lived and gone to all these places. I've been all around the world. So many of the most amazing things in your life are one small decision away. So start today by letting go of the idea of being perfect and getting excited about being a student, being a beginner, and enjoying the ride, enjoying the process over time of seeing how you'd grow and develop and evolve. I recommend you take pictures, record videos, document things, whether it's a business, a book, or a fitness journey, document things so you can see how you're growing over time and celebrate the ride. And if you need some help getting started, you wanna be more accountable, you wanna be more productive, efficient, effective, and you wanna have a group that shares this with you, a group of like-minded people that are working towards meaningful change in their lives, I want you to click the link below and join us in the group because this group that I've created is something I've wanted to do for years and it's finally come together. And if you're ready to join something that's gonna help you create meaningful change right off the bat in your life, I want you to click the link, read the page, see if it's right for you. And if it is, join us on the inside. I love you all. Thanks for watching. I'll be talking to you again real soon.